Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 204 of Java for Tester series. That is interfaces and variables. Interfaces and variables. So the first question here is, can we create variables inside the interfaces? Is a question. The answer is yes, guys. Yes, we can create the variables inside the interfaces. But the variables which are created inside the interfaces have some specific properties. That is, by default, by default, the variables created inside the interfaces are of are of final are of public static and final type okay by default the variables created inside the interfaces are of public static and final type okay even though you don't specify this public static and final before this variables created inside the interfaces internally they are treated as public static and final by default okay so for example in the src right click say new okay let's create an interface uh, i will create an interface say bank click on finish the name of the interface here is bank inside this interface i will create some variable okay let's say i will create some variable like a uh, string string uh, account type one is equal to savings okay some savings account i created a variable here okay i i declared this with a string data uh, string type and assigned some value to this so did i mention anywhere for this particular variable did i mention anywhere like a public uh, static or final no right but internally or by default by default this variable is of public static and final type let me prove that okay let me prove how this uh, variable is kind of uh, public static and final type by default internally even though i have to specify something like this right i can explicitly specify public even though if you don't specify also it's public only guys okay even though you don't specify a static it's static okay even though you don't specify final here it's a final okay so the variables created inside the interfaces are by default public static and final type okay so let me practically show you one by one so to start with uh, i will explain about static okay by default this particular variable is static okay by default the variable created inside the interface is by default static type static non access modifier is specified internally even though you don't specify explicitly here specified internally so to prove that generally guys if you create some variable inside a class okay if you create some variable inside the class and specify that as static how to access such kind of variables guys okay so as we already know let's say there is a class here this is not an interface guys let's say there is a class here some class one inside this you created a variable like this int a is equal to some five okay static int a is equal to five so from another class if you try to access this variable okay how to access okay let's say there is some uh, demo class with main method inside it okay the main assume that i'm just uh, writing at a high level guys okay don't read this as a proper code fine inside the main method i have to uh, in order to access this uh, variable a which is of static type inside this class one how to access guys as we already know static variables belong to the class memory right instance variable belong to the object memory whereas static variables belong to the class memory as explained in one of the previous videos right I explained this particular concept in one of the previous videos where I explained about static non access modifier. Right? The variable which is specified as static inside a class belong to which memory? Class memory, not object memory. Okay, it's a common memory known as class memory. So, in order to access such kind of variables, also we have to say system dot uh, how dot print ln. Okay, let's say okay, how to access this variable, guys? We have to use the class name because this particular variable is of static, which is of which belongs to the class memory. We have to use something like this now uh, class one dot uh, class one dot a I have to say okay class one dot a class one dot a because this variable belong to the class memory because it's of static type so in order to access this variable we have to use the class name dot 
okay so same thing same thing if you use this static uh, okay same thing in the interface okay let's say this is an interface so interface interface name let's say bank is the interface here and inside this i created a variable right string account underscore type one is equal to some savings i created by default, the variables inside the interface are of which type? Static type. Okay, you don't have to explicitly say static. The variables created inside the interface are by default static. Okay, internally they are treated as static only. So, since this particular variable is a static now, how this belongs to which memory? Interface memory or the instance memory? It belongs to the interface memory. Here, bank is the interface, and this belongs, this variable is saved into the bank interface memory. So, how to access? If you have this, such kind of main method, you can access in the same way, like bank dot, bank dot account. What is the variable name? Account type one is a variable name. Okay, type one, type underscore one. Okay, bank dot account underscore type underscore one. Okay, like this we have to access because this one is by default static because it's this particular variable inside the interface is uh, internally or by default static. Not to access them, you have to use the interface name bank dot account type one like this okay so guys uh, so let's find it out whether uh, this is static or not by creating another class uh, say i'll name this as demo class and uh, i will have this uh, main method inside that so i'll drag it this side so that you can see both the interface and class at same time inside the main method okay i'll try to access this okay system dot out dot println okay I have, you know how to access this one because this is of static type by default you have to use the interface name here okay bank dot account type one like this you have to access okay static variables can be accessed using their class name or interface name okay you don't have to create the object you have to access them using the class name or interface name here in this case bank is an interface you have to use the interface name dot the static variable okay like this you can access fine now it's uh, clear that it is an static type okay because we are able to access this particular variable using the interface name so it's a static type okay internally it's a static second thing is final okay final means final means what, what is mean by final guys once you specify this particular variable as final the value cannot be changed once initialize once you initialize this particular value to this particular variable here savings is assigned to this account type one what if i don't uh, provide value also you will get an er error guys you see you are going to get a compiler error. The blank final field cannot, uh, the blank final field account type one may not have been initialized. It's mandatory for you to initialize here in the interfaces because Java knows that this particular variable is internally of final type. Okay. So you have to assign the value there itself. Okay. You have to assign the value. Otherwise, it will not allow you. Okay. Because once you assign the value, this particular variable value cannot be changed. Let's try to change this particular value from this method. Say I will say how to access this uh, variable bank dot because this is of static type I can access like this account type and since it is of final type you cannot uh, change the value here okay since this particular variable is of final type you cannot change the value your savings is there here if I try to give something like current okay I'm trying I am trying to reassign the different value to this particular variable it's already assigned this particular variable is already assigned with savings but I am trying to assign another value say current to this variable. If I try to do so, I'm getting a compile final field cannot be assigned. That means only one time you can initialize in the interface itself. There itself while creating the variable, you have to initialize. Otherwise, Java will not allow. Once initialized, you cannot reassign the value. Okay, because this particular variable is of internally of final type. Okay, so it's final also is proved. Okay, you cannot do such kind of operations here. Okay, it's a final. It's a constant. It's not a variable case. It's a constant because this particular variable is specified with final it becomes a constant it cannot be changed constantly it will be constant it cannot be changed variable value can be changed but constant value which is specified with final internally cannot be changed that's why you can call that as constant generally we create a we specify the constants with the full capital letters if you have multiple words you have to the naming convention for the constants is account capital underscore type completely capital underscore one okay you can divide the words with underscore fine other thing is public okay so by default they are public guys okay if you try to specify private here 
you will get a compiler error okay it says that illegal modifier for the interface field okay it can be only public you can explicitly specify public it there is no need of explicitly specifying it as public guys but internally all the variables inside the interface are public by default okay you can access them anywhere inside the project so that's the intention okay interface uh, variables can be accessed anywhere inside the project because they are by default public even though no access modifier has been specified here okay by default internally this particular variable is of by default public type okay to try to provide any any other type of uh, mod access modifiers here like protected or private you are immediately going to get the compiler error okay and this is internally or by default public is so guys the variables inside the the variables inside the interfaces can be created and they are by default public static and final type you don't have to explicitly specify this public static finally but internally java will okay create this variables inside the interfaces as public static and final type as explained in this video so that's it guys so that's it about the interfaces and the variables how they are uh, how these variables inside the interfaces are public uh, static and final type okay so that's it in the next video session i'll explain about the interfaces and methods okay the interfaces and methods so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye